What's up guys, it's Motorco here and in this video I want to talk to you about farming in the Gigantar area. Um, so I did a stream based, based off of this and I kind of gave some ideas on my stream. But I wanted to make a, a quick concise video for people to reference. Um, so that way they, they had it for their reference. So uh, basically there, there's a couple of classes that have a real easy time at this. Uh, most of them are high magic attack classes. Um, or classes that have high enhancements to specific uh, types of damage. Uh, for instance, or both. Uh, which is one of the reasons why Mage is, is so well equipped to handle this. Um, they're very, very good uh, for, for doing this particular instance. Because they have such high damage to one of the best spells in the game. Which is Vanilla Thing. So you can pretty much guarantee every time you're going to get a million score. There's like almost no way that you don't, unless you just really, really mess up. Um, so, you know, I, I would say Mage is probably the best and the easiest, uh, with a with a close bo close behind with uh, with Black Mage. Um, both of those classes are very well suited for getting a million score. And believe it or not, I know a lot of people. I'm going to catch a lot of hell for this, but I would probably say Samurai is up there with them. Um, and the reason I say that is because they use their ultimate in conjunction with Berserk and, um, and YRP. And they can do an insane amount of damage um, to the boss in one hit. Uh, so basically you just kind of whittle down the boss until you break them. And then use your ultimate during the break with YRP and Berserk up. And it's guaranteed to be a million score almost every time. Um, so... You know, there's very rare instances where you miss, um, and it just doesn't happen. But, I mean, those are, like, extremely rare. Um, so, some other classes that have a, a, a really relative easy easy time at this are probably White Mage, Scholar. And, uh, basically, again, any, any class that has relatively high magic with some sort of enhancement to an element. So, White Mage and Scholar are very well suited for this as well. Um, any of the mage class jobs basically are very good at this. Uh, some of the some of the classes that might fall short uh, are assassin and some of the ranger class jobs, uh, mostly because they have lower magic and higher break and higher attack as well. So they tend to uh, overhit or overreach or be easier to overreach with on the lesser mobs, and then on the large mobs they just don't have the firepower uh, to end the fight in a quick and concise manner to be able to get, you know, high scores. Now, is that, am I saying that they're not capable of it? No, uh, they're definitely capable of hitting a million score, but, um, I mean, it, it's, it's harder to do with those classes. Okay. Um, another thing that you need to kind of keep in mind is, uh, while you're, while you want to optimize your setup, for farming this um, area, you also need to realize that uh, that getting through the area with a million score is probably a little bit more important than um, with a million score on each node is probably a little bit more important than uh, targeting a specific seed. Um, so kind of prioritize doing damage and stuff as well. Now, if you need to farm a specific skill seed, then you should probably adjust your class um, as opposed to adjusting the cards that you bring with you. Now, once job swaps come out, I mean, this is going to be so ridiculously easy to farm, which is one of the reasons why I have suggested to many people that uh, you should probably save a lot of your uh, tablets for when job swaps come out. Uh, don't spend all of them. Um, I've already spent uh, a good portion of my tablets, so I, I don't plan on spending too much, too many more. I'm just doing this for the demonstration of this video. Um, so once job swaps come out, you're going to be able to put all of one element on uh, your primary job and then swap to your secondary job with all of your good cards, your most powerful cards, and then clear with your most powerful cards. Um, so that's going to be kind of the route that, that you're going to want to take. Uh, for this. 
Um, so anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this was just kind of a brief rundown with some, with some suggestions. I kind of messed up there. I shouldn't have killed that guy like that. But anyways, um, so I'm going to keep farming. I hope you guys are having, having a good time in the Pleiades Lagoon. Keep trying to chase those Gigantar bulbs in lieu of, or in preparation for the, uh, the event coming out tomorrow, the Pleiades Lagoon. And uh, hopefully you guys are, are getting all the bulbs that you guys need um, in order to, to be able to augment all your cards to five stars. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.